Hi, I um, just wanted to start my diary. I know it's a little soon, but uh, I finally made a decision on a physician and uh, uh, the ridicule has started already. I'm very proud of myself, proud that I've made this decision to better myself, move forward, do good things. And so in an attempt to make sure that I was being supportive by a physician that I, I cared about, I, I, you know, when you have a, a physician, it's a personal journey, it's a personal choice. And you share things with this person that you wouldn't tell anybody. And um, I even quit smoking um, four years ago with his help. Um, uh, just, uh, you know, thought, that thought a lot of the man. And uh, um, I just received a certified letter in the mail that I had to go stop work and go to the post office to pick up. And it was a letter from him stating, because I went to him and I told him of my plan to have the surgery and he asked me to visit one of, you know, an American doctor first to see if they'll work with me. I had set aside uh, $10,000 to have the surgery, you know, or at least that was my budget. And uh, so I had that much to spend. I went to the person he referred me to or called and was immediately cut off by the gatekeeper um, and, and, and said, well, your insurance doesn't cover it. So you'd have to pay for it out of pocket, but we're not going to do the surgery until you're able to make those payments in full. Okay, well, how much is it? $28,000. Well, how much? the surgery is X amount. Okay, so the surgery is 10000 So what are you doing with the other 8000 Well, you need aftercare. W what is the aftercare? Well, you need to be monitored. We ha you have to come in and get weighed and, and talk to a dietitian once a week. No, I don't. I have a, a computer. I've got a scale. Uh, and I'm too busy for that. I, I don't want to see you people every week. Anyway, I got received this lovely letter that I had to go pick up, and it says, uh, Dear Miss McCauley, I appreciate the confidence you have accorded me at my practice to provide you with primary medical care. However, I am unable to provide any further uh, medical care to you. Uh, I will provide emergency care only for the next 30 days while you make a transition to another physician. Upon notification to this office and receipt of signed medical records release, I will be glad to forward a copy of your medical records to the physician of your choice. Dr. Jesse Casimiro, MD. Uh, he's located in Ormond Beach, Florida. Uh, and uh, he, he's from, uh, you know, Spain, and I thought he was diverse. I thought, you know, I didn't want him to, I knew, I didn't need him to follow up with me after I went to, I just wanted to know if he was on board, and he obviously isn't. I mean, I feel so insulted. Like, you know, you wouldn't help me with the weight loss, and now that I'm able to make the decision and it's just sad. So it just goes to show that a lot of doctors are just, uh, you know, it's a business and that's all it is to them and during these times. So, okay, well, thank you for your time today in my journey. Um, I'm, I'm looking at uh, a few offices and, and I think I'm going to go with uh, medical bariatrics or um, BMI, uh, Bariatrics Medical Institute. Something like that. Anyway, um, well, oh, the date. Today is uh, November, November 8th. Yep. And so I should be having the surgery um, in six weeks. Thanks.